Thank you, Madam Speaker, and uh, I want to thank the Chairman, Bruce Westerman, for his work. And um, Madam Speaker, the Chairman mentioned something about our last speaker from Pennsylvania. I'm a little concerned maybe he didn't have time to read the whole bill because he described it, not the bill that's before us. He said some t somehow this would harm the environment. He was concerned about climate. If this bill passes, global emissions will be reduced. The chairman pointed out that the, the gentleman before from the other side of the aisle from Pennsylvania was criticizing this bill, and he talked about the natural gas. I'm not sure if, this, if our gentleman on the other side of the aisle has done any research, but if he knows that American natural gas is 41 percent cleaner than Russian natural gas. It was an interesting little fact. If we had replaced for one year just Russian natural gas to Europe, we would have reduced CO2 emissions by more than 200 million tons. 200 million tons. So, Speaker, it, it really begs the question, who's the polluter? Those who defend Russia and vote against this bill. It's interesting, the opposing people against this bill, those I'm hearing on the other side of the aisle, China, Russia, and OPEC. It's interesting, the friends you keep. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. If you go across this country, Ms. Madam Speaker, it costs too much to, eat your, to heat your home and fill up your car. It costs less administration ago. Today, more than one-third of all Americans say they have skipped buying food or medicine to pay an energy bill in the last 12 months. And we're going to have an opportunity this week to make sure that they don't have to do that again if you vote yes. This is neither affordable nor sustainable. In response, President Biden has paid lip service to the need of more energy production. But this is a public relations stunt. Almost every one of his policies involves penalizing America and empowering China. Now, here are the facts. For years, President Biden and Democrats have attacked energy producer, blocked new leases on federal land and ground and permitting process to halt. Their so-called Inflation Reduction Act included a natural gas tax, a $27 billion climate slush fund. So the gentleman on the other side of the aisle from Pennsylvania, he supported taxing the natural gas that's produced in his state and creating a slush fund. Meanwhile, in my home state of California, burdensome environmental laws have led to recurring blackouts and more red tape that raises costs for everything. Rather than increasing production and providing good-paying jobs, California imported more than half of its oil from Ecuador in recent years. And the interesting fact here is, when the Democrats took control of California under Governor Gavin Newsom, he reduced the amount of oil produced in California by 20 percent. That was 80,000 barrels a day. That doesn't mean California used 80,000 less barrels. It meant California started paying Putin for 50,000 barrels. They get the majority of their oil from the Ecuador, from Amazon. Instead of producing it in an environmentally sound way in California, we're harming the environment. And that's exactly what this bill is able to do, lower global emissions, lower the price of energy, and make the world more secure and safe. Because then Putin and Russia is not controlling Europe. Democrats have sent a clear message about their priorities. They are the party of $5 gas, subsidizing communist China and the never-ending dependence on foreign dictators for minerals we have in America. It was only a few short years ago where America produced more of the critical minerals than China. But as the Democrats would shut down leases, make it harder to open new mines, 
they moved it to other parts of the world, and not in an environmentally sound way. Empowering China, making them stronger, and making the price in America higher. Luckily, Congress has the opportunity to change the behavior of Washington by passing the Lower Energy Cost Act. Every member of this chamber should support it. I understand why Russia and China opposes lower energy costs for America and making America stronger, but I don't understand why members in this Congress would stand with China and Russia against America. The Lower Energy Cost Act does two important things. One, it restores American energy leadership by repealing unnecessary taxes and overregulation on American energy producers so we can lead the world in providing clean, affordable energy. Two, it makes it easier to build things in America. For example, this bill includes a two-year time limit on environmental impact statements. It also streamlines the process for lawsuits that so activists can't use the courts to delay projects for years. You know, 90 years ago, American workers built the Empire State Building in 400 days. That's 13 months. These days, however, even repairing existing structures, just like Lake Isabella Dam in my district, has taken 18 years. 18 years. And that was only because we were lucky in pushing for it. And that's exactly how the big government under Biden administration wants the system to work. Every time we need a pipeline, a road, or a dam, it gets held up on an average of five to seven years and adds millions of dollars in costs for the project to comply with Washington's permitting process. It's too long, it's unaffordable, and it's not based on science, and it's holding us back. It's time we speed up the time it takes for us to build all kinds of things in America. We could streamline permitting, stop abusive lawsuits, protect the environment, and importantly, lower the price of energy. This is why the Lower Energy Cost Act is H.R. 1. It signals how important the bill truly is. You know, Madam Speaker, when the Democrats were in the majority, you know what their H.R. 1 bill was? Election. Election. Why? They wanted to change the election law to try to guarantee their right to be reelected. You see, they looked after themselves. When Republicans took the majority, our H.R. 1 is about lowering energy costs for all of Americans. We think it's important to serve to serve others, not yourself. Now, I get the permitting reform isn't for everyone. If you like paying more at the pump, you don't want to make it faster for American workers to build more pipelines. If you're China, you rather America sit back and let others lead. And if you're a bureaucrat, maybe you really do enjoy reading the 600-page environmental impact studies. But the rest of America wants lower prices, more cash in their hand, more good-paying jobs in America, and rules that are good for the environment. And that's exactly what Lowering Energy Cost Act does. Madam Speaker, America has the potential to become a true energy superpower. God has blessed us with abundant energy, and we shouldn't have to depend on other countries for our future. In fact, we should make the world dependent on us for energy. The world would be cleaner and safer, and America would be better off. So if you want to have a responsible energy policy where America produces more energy, pays less for a gallon of gas, and never again bows to foreign dictators, vote yes on Lower Energy Cost Act. Three things will happen when this bill becomes law. Your energy costs will be reduced. You will have more cash to take care of your family, to pay for your medicine, to take your family on vacation. It will reduce the global emissions so environmentally the world will be a better place. 
it will make the world a safer place. So no longer does America play Putin for dirtier oil or gas. So no longer does China control other nations because they control the critical minerals that America will not produce. No longer will we watch, as we watched in the 1930s, countries bound together to create an axis of power. We've now watched China enter the Middle East to bring Saudi Arabia and Iran together. That used to be the role of the American president at Camp David. It's no longer. We do not want to watch our president travel to the Middle East to beg to produce something more when America can produce it here in an environmentally sound way. Madam Speaker, I know why Russia and China fights this bill so hard. I do not understand why those on the other side of the aisle join with Russia and China. I ask them to join with Americans and make America safe and America environmentally sound and the world a more secure place. With that, I yield back.